Hi guys, I'm Jason again, and today is the 28th of June 2015. I've just finished my uh, Baofeng Triple Eight version two recording. So this is the Baofeng UV 3R Plus version of it. So let's have a look. Okay, there you go. This is a very old radio of mine. I, I bought it from a friend from about 150 ringgit Malaysia. So, but if you can buy, I mean, you can buy one from eBay for about, I think it's about, uh, what would be the price? Probably 20 or 25 dollar. Okay. 20, 25 dollar. So, let's go to eBay. And the internet is not good, so why don't we just forget about it? <laughs> Alright, hold on a while, guys. All right, there you go. Uh, it took me a very long time just to search for this radio. It costs about thirty-two US dollar from eBay, so it's not that cheap actually. Okay, today we're gonna have a look on this radio. This is the Balfong UV three. UV3 R Plus uh, is out of focus. So there's a few button here and a few button here. But I will tell you the pros and cons first. So one thing good about this radio is actually smaller in size than other, any other Balfour radio. This is a UV3 R Plus. This is a uh, BF888S UHF radio. You can compare everything. Forget about the antennas. But just compare about the size. It is very, very small indeed. Yeah. Let's try to compare it size side by side. But but instead of buying this one, I will really recommend a UV5R for major radios and other other usage as well. Because why is Okay, this is just to switch it on. This is the power button. This is the U or V. There's actually just U or uh, U, the bottom one, or V. That's it. You cannot actually change the range. You, This radio does have a dual, uh, what do we call TDR, something about dual band frequency at the same time, but it's just going to jump up and down only for frequency mode, not for channel mode. So what you got here is the uh, mode, U and V menu. Oh my, it's not that good after all. Then you turn around menu, or the lock button, and is this is the warning button. So for example, if you accidentally turn the knob, the frequency will actually change. If you want to turn the volume, you're going to have to press it every single time. You can see something is moving, right? Okay. So another thing is that this has the normal push to top. On top is the monitoring button. Or oh, what is it? I forgot. Oh sorry. This one is the F button. The frequency button. Ah uh, okay. You can see on the left corner there's an F. F means that you can actually change the frequency one megahertz at a time if you disable it, you can actually have to change the button at the back, uh, the frequency at the back. This one is actually for the lights, and if you press long enough, you're gonna have, oh, you're gonna have a radio. There you go. Okay, YouTube copyright, no music, even though it's from the radio, uh, okay, from the radio. There you go, front and back. Uh, okay, let me try something first. It's not easy to actually take this off because I bought the wrong battery. The uh, battery for UV 3R does not compatible with UV 3R Plus. So this is a very big problem. Hold on for a while. Eh? Okay, I'm back. There you go. This is a uh, 3.7 volt battery. 1500 milliampere just like the Baofeng triple eight and inside we can actually see what can we see eh? uh, you can see 
uh, I don't have a focus on my on my camera. Damn, this is too bad. Same points. Uh, UV three. Ah, uh, three watt. This is a three watt. One three six, one seven four, and four hundred to four seven zero megahertz. Yes. 470 megahertz. Okay, let's put it back. Okay, here we go. So, what I can do is let me show you about the frequency range. This is the UV3R software. So, as usual, you have to go to settings, communication port, and from the communication port, uh, COM port 3 is selected because this programming cable will actually show, tell you which COM port that you are using. Okay, uh, forget about how you want to get the port. So, if you have a look here, you can see the frequency range, which is 1367, and things like that. So, you have the squelch level, VOX, key tune, set function, BC law, frequency key, channel flag, and things like that. This is the backlight. Uh, how you want to show the back line always on continuous or when you press a key here's the VFO frequency and here's the UFO it's actually VHF and the UHF frequency and this is the frequency list okay I'm just gonna connect it into the room cable and I'm just gonna read it out from the radio I've already programmed this radio I've already programmed this radio and uh, I believe I did manage to use it up to 479 as well Oh, man. It's actually not. It's not actually very easy to handle a radio with a single hand. There you go. It's connected. So you're just gonna press read. Something come out. It's trying to read from the radio, but there's nothing here. It's actually not blinking. So I have configured some of the uh, frequency. No. Okay, I didn't configure anything, but you can actually configure the uh, frequency range from here. So let us just try. Let's just try. Plug it. Okay. Let's say 476, 888. This is actually the frequency of my power phone triple eight with channel 16. I'm just gonna try. Testing, testing, one, two, three, testing, one, two, three. So it looks like it's not just limited to 470 freaking uh, megahertz. It can actually go beyond that, probably to 479. Okay, if I try to tune away from it, press F, the knob can push up and push down. But do, do, when you push the knob up and down, you can actually change the frequency accidentally. So 476, 475. Now 479, 480, it looks like I can tune up to, what is it, 490, 499, so looks good, I can tune up to 499, and how about the uh, range for the uh, range, oh, 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 I have accidentally set up the uh, frequency to channel 22. It's very confusing actually how to set up a channel using this radio. There's too many buttons, you don't actually have a good keypad and you have to tune very very far just to set up a radio and I don't actually quite like it other than the size. Yeah. Okay so for this one, 517, I believe it should be this one 173 and 115 oh 173 and 115 why would that be uh i'm not sure but i believe probably i've did something but i don't actually remember but forget about it i'll just tell you back to you guys later on so basically this radio is like this it's not that good but it's not that bad <laughs> all right okay so however it is for 3 watt, you can actually go up to 
Now it's good within a one kilometer range, definitely not a big problem. And I've tried probably five kilometer with the VHF, yeah you can go up to there. So basically it's quite it's a quite okay radio. So you guys think about it if you're gonna purchase this or not. But if I'm you probably just gonna spend a little bit more probably fifty US dollar just to get the UE five R with a keypad. It's much more easier with a keypad. Right guys, there you go. Jason, see you guys again. Take care. God bless you.